Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? Samadia Siren. My uncle, Nikolai, sat shaking in his chair. He suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder from his time serving as a soldier. And when you hear this story, you'll understand why. Nikolai had been drafted to fight on the border of Bulgaria and Ukraine. He was on patrol with his best friend, Arthur. They were in the same battalion and tried to look out for one another. It was almost midnight and pitch black, only the light of the moon guiding them with their rifles loaded and their senses on high alert. And they continued to pace. They could see their breath in the night air to stop the chill setting in. They kept marching. The frigid air was cold and dense with fog. Normally, the silence was a good sign, but my uncle could see Arthur was beginning to unravel. His pace was picking up. His eyes darted all about and he was fidgeting with his uniform. Suddenly, he stopped dead. Nikolai almost bumped into him, and then he too stood quite still, listening to a haunting, high-pitch noise. It sounded oddly human, but they couldn't quite place it or understand why it would be there. It seemed to follow them as they continued their rounds, and it was getting louder. Nikolai gave Arthur the signal. They got down into a prone position on their stomach and they readied their guns. Nikolai grabbed his cross necklace and said a prayer. This might be our time to die, he thought. Aiming in the direction of the sound, they realized it reminded them of a woman singing. As they could hear the voice closer, they actually thought it was beautiful. Arthur threw his gun down with relief. They couldn't see who it was through the dense forest. Nikolai wasn't convinced and tried to get Arthur's attention. It could be a trap. They had to stay prepared. The sea of trees blocked their vision from the owner of the spellbinding voice. Tears streamed down Arthur's face. It was the most gentle sound he had heard in months. He yearned to see where it was coming from and without a thought, took off into the brush to find her. Nikolai darted after his friend. He knew danger lurked through the trees and they needed to be back at their post. Just as he caught up to Arthur, another silhouette appeared before them. No, Nikolai cried. Sure, this was it. Then in between the trees, they saw the mesmerizing woman, but it made no sense. What was she doing in active Warzo, singing loudly in a high-pitched, lovely voice. Nikolai watched Arthur slowly approach her, entranced. Her long, blonde, flowing hair reached her elbows and her pale, vibrant skin practically glowed in the dark. Her free, flowing white dress hung loosely over her frame and her amber eyes glowed like a cat's. And so now, Nikolai was the one getting fidgety, the woman was stunning, but it made no sense for her to be there. She cocked her head and glanced over at him with a sinister smile. Arthur, Arthur, Nikolai called, now certain this was a trap. But Arthur gave no reply, his features showing no indication of even hearing his friend. Nikolai tried to physically pull him away, but Arthur shoved him to the ground. Nothing was going to keep him from the glowing woman. Nikolai ran to the nearest checkpoint station to call reinforcements. The singing was fading in the distance and then abruptly stopped. A screeching scream cut through the silence like a knife, freezing his insides. Even worse was a high-pitched female laughing as the singing returned. Only this time, it was much closer. Nikolai gripped his rifle tightly, aiming it into the night. She soon appeared clearly unfazed by the gun. Her beauty and alluring scene made it hard to focus. Nikolai felt his mind being freed of will. He started to slowly advance on the woman, 
letting his rifle drop to the ground. Any fear in his mind was obliterated, so long as she kept singing her siren song. Nikolai closed the gap between them. As he reached her, she extended her hand. My uncle reached out, and just as he dropped to his knees, kissing her hand, there was a sudden hail of gunfire. Bullets penetrated the woman's skin, and her white dress turned into a crimson blood red, sprayed all over the hard soil, turning the dirt into wet mud. Nikolai snapped out of his trance. At the sound of bullets flying through the air, mere centimeters from his body, that gunfire was meant for him, not this poor woman. The reinforcements from his battalion descended upon the scene. They pulled Nikolai out of harm's way, and he was taken back to base camp and checked for wounds. After he was confirmed as uninjured, they returned to collect the body of the woman and retrieve Arthur, but neither was ever found. The woman had disappeared without a trace, no blood, no drag marks, nothing. There was just countless small holes in the hard soil where the bullets had penetrated. There was no way she could still be alive. Arthur wasn't found either, no sign of his body. The only trace of him having been there was his rifle and fresh boot prints. Nikolai began to panic, insisting they both must be there. That's when a native soldier told him what had happened. He was almost taken by the spirit of the Samadiva, an ancient Bulgarian nymph. With their hypnotic voice, they show warrior-like qualities, and once they immobilize you, they bring you to the other side. They force their prey to work for them as slaves until they tortured to death. If the reinforcements hadn't appeared when they did, my uncle Nikolai wouldn't be alive to tell us his tale.